what you see right here might very well be the fastest ATP GPU that NVIDIA ever released. What you see here is the XFX GeForce 7950 GT, AGP version. Alright, so now we know what this card is. Let me get uh, get in closer view here so you can take a look at this sexy black PCB. There we go. So, this is the XFX GeForce 7950 GT AGP. Why is it special? Well, this is pretty much the last uh, AGP card ever to be shipped by NVIDIA. Actually, NVIDIA only intended AGP versions to be made up to the 7800 series, with the 7800 GS being the fastest card available at the time for AGP from NVIDIA's side. ATI also sold X1900 XT uh, AGP versions, at least in the X1950 series and X1900 and X1800 series. And, but, uh, you know, this card is actually, you know, on par with those cards, and even beats them in uh, some games. So that's actually pretty awesome. Of course, we all know that ATI actually made a lot more AGP cards than NVIDIA ever did. Because, uh, well, nobody really knows why, but, you know, ATI made AGP cards up to about 2010-2011. Pretty much, they discontinued AGP um, when the when DirectX 11 and uh, the HD 5000 series came out. Because the fastest AGP card you could get, period, is the HD 4670 1GB DDR3 version made by HIS. That's the fastest AGP card you could get, which is pretty much just as fast as the 3850. That's also available on AGP as well. So let's let's focus on this card here. This is the XFX Radeon, <laughs> Radeon, XFX GeForce 7950 GT 512. To be very specific, this is the 7950 GT 550M, which is a 512 megabyte card with DDR3 graphics memory, and it's actually pretty darn fast. And the the, the you know a real pro. Of this card is the fact that it only needs one Molex power connector. These cards were very, very efficient in, indeed. The, uh, you know, cards from the Red Camp from ATI. Uh, you know, I was looking at a, at a, what was it? I think it was an X1950 Pro or something like that. It required two Molex connectors to operate. This one only needs one. And this card is faster than that X1950 Pro on AGP. So, yeah. So why do I have this card then? Because it's an HEP 8X card, it's from 2006, we're living in the year 2015. This card has been surpassed many, 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 many times before. In the meantime, well, I'm sort of working on a little bit of a project here where I kind of want to build a system that's from the era that this card was made to play some of the, you know, the appropriate Windows XP era games. Um, for the most part, those games are all re-released on Steam to work on Windows 7 and whatnot. I just want something that's dedicated to that era of gaming, because that's the era where I've been gaming the most. And for that, I need a good graphics card, um, an adequate CPU, motherboard, all that good stuff. So, um... You know, in the upcoming weeks and months, actually, I will be working on a little bit of a project with this card as well. So what will I be building? Well, of course, this will be going in it. I will still need to find a case and a power supply and everything else I do have already laying around. Uh, I will be using an uh, Asus P4 P800. Um, I think it is a P4 P800E uh, Deluxe motherboard with 2 gigs of DDR possibly even 3 gigs of DDR, depending on uh, if it will run dual channel or not. Uh, the 7950 GT and the 3 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4 Prescott 3 gigahertz with hyper-threading. 
this uh, you know these specs are actually uh, bound up to change really because I do have a Pentium D820 laying around which is 2.8 gigahertz network dual core chip which is you know even on one thread it's barely slower than the Pentium 4 because they're pretty much the same architecture but it's really not that big of a difference and it is dual core even though it's only a crippled one maybe but that's why I'm, what I plan on doing so if I will use the Pentium D of course I will need to get a new motherboard and uh, well if I do then I need to find a board that will support DDR and AGP of course which is not too hard and if it supports DDR2 and AGP then that's fine too but then it will need to have four RAM slots because I do have four uh, DDR2 512 modules laying around so that would add up to 2 gigs as well and by the way if I sound terrible that's because my throat hurts like fuck and uh, you know I'm pretty much um, yeah closing in on the flu I should say so things haven't uh, been all that well I actually don't really know if this car works yet or not I think it does it seems to be in perfect shape so it should be a very nice project and I will keep you posted on it but in the meantime this is my video on the GeForce 7950 GT AGP card made by XFX with awesome black PCB, 512 megabytes of DDR3 memory, dual DVI, and then this video out, and of course this awesome cooling design. I mean, come on, I really need a case with a window because that XFX logo right there is pretty darn awesome. So yeah, that concludes my video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I thank you all for watching. And by the way, I actually filmed this video with my iPad mini retina this time around and I would like you all to comment on the video and audio quality to see if this is any better than what I've been producing in the past few months um, when I recorded using my Moto G. I, I expect this to be much much better even though I'm still you know pretty much a long way from the microphones but I will you know I would still just really like to hear your input on this. So yeah have a nice day, everybody, and uh, this will be the end of the video. Peace out.